welcome back as you can seen in the title this is a ishimondo one shot titled valentine's day uh i hope you enjoy and i'll get on to the reading now mondo's pov i felt my heart pump as i stare at ishimaru's desk today was valentine's day and i had a box of chocolates in my hand i was gonna give them to ishimaru who had a cr who i had a crush on However, the fear of je rejection and misconception stopped me from placing the box of, of the them on his desk. Hey, bro. I heard a familiar voice from behind me. H hey, how is it going to ta ta Taka? I, 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 I exclaimed nerv nervously, hide hiding the box of chocolates from behind my back. Good. You? Taka replied. Great, I've got to go now, I say, attempting to maneuver my way around the smaller mail. What's the chocolates for? Ishimaru asks, clearly seeing the box in my hands. I felt a sweat roll down my face. Uh, well, I say, turning around to, to face Taka. My face was red. I was gonna, I was gonna give, give you these. I say, holding out the chocolates to Taka. I saw Taka flush. Oh, Mondo, how nice of you. He says, t taking the chocolates from my hand and placing him, them in his bag. Then he, he embraced me in a hug. This really, means, this really means a lot to me. In fact, I never have gotten a Valentine's Day gift before. I smile. Oh, you're welcome, bro. I felt my face go red as soon as Taka let go of the embrace. Sorry, I I don't have a gift for you yet. Taka says, "No problem." I exclaim, but I was wondering, do you want a uh, hanging out after school? I asked, staring at in, into his ruby eyes. Of course, he grinned. I have to be home by nine forty-five, though. Uh, I blush, so then do you want to ride to the nearby cafe with me? Doc smiled and pick, picked up his book bag. Yes, he said cheerfully, holding holding my hand. I blushed as we left the school building to, to head to the cafe. At the cafe, I sat down at a two-person table with Taka. So what you want to order? I asked him. Taka looked up from his novel he was reading. I'll take a warm cup of tea with par paraffin, he said. Okay, I said, thinking what I'd like to order as well. The waitress came over to our table and took our orders. I only ordered a cup of coffee since I wasn't hungry. Me and Taka chatted while we waited for our food. I even t attempted to flirt with him, and his reactions were adorable. N no, you're cute, Mondo. He retorted back at me when I qu called him cute. I smiled, smiled and felt my face turn red. He's just so adorable. I thought as I watched him blush, blush rapidly at his, at the, his remark. Oh, uh, sorry to bother you two, but your food's ready. The waitress said, who was carrying our drinks in, in Taka's parfait. Oh, right, thank you. I say, taking the drinks from her hand. I pull out my wallet and paid for our drinks. Thank you, have a good rest of your day. She said, walking away. I placed the drinks on our table and Taka began to drink his tea. I drank my coffee while, while watching him read his novel, casually sipping his tea while, while he read. Once he was done with his tea and finished reading a chapter of his novel, he chatted with me and ate his par parfait. I made, I made a few jokes which made him smile and sometimes laugh. When, when we were done at the cafe, I said goodbye and went back on my motorcycle. Taka sat behind me and wrapped his arms around me. I placed his helmet on his head and asked him if he was ready. I drove him home and, and drove myself home too. I held him on those room. I let him in bed thinking of Taka. I fell asleep peacefully thinking of his cute, adorable hall, of the cute, adorable hall moderate, hall moderate in my dreams. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm really sorry if I made any mistakes uh, while speaking or reading, I guess. Um, yeah, I really hope that didn't bother anyone, and if, I, if it did, I'm really sorry. 
Um, I hope you guys have a good day, night, or afternoon. Remember to eat and drink something today. Please, it's healthy for you. And, uh, bye.